Oh, hi there. Thank you for joining me today in our journey of discovering the wonders of the horizontal mattress suture pattern. Follow me to unlock your true surgical potential. Before we start, let's go over the basics of tool handling. First, grab your needle drivers. Next, put your thumb and ring finger in the loops. Remember, don't put the loop past your last knuckle on your ring finger. This is a common mistake that many students will make when learning how to suture. Next, grab your thumb forceps with your non-dominant hand. Don't forget how to stow them when suturing, as demonstrated. Finally, how to pick up your needle. Grab the needle with your needle drivers about three quarters of the way past the cutting edge and down towards the suture. Do not actually grab the suture as this can weaken your material. Now that we have our tools ready, let's begin. We are now going to start our interrupted horizontal mattress, which is an everting pattern. Everting means that the tissue or skin comes together towards the surgeon and tints outward when the knot is tied. This will cause the blood vessels feeding the incisions to be perpendicular to one another. The goal of this pattern is to bring tissue under tension, such as infected surgical sites. Be careful, this pattern does have a propensity to cause ischemia if placed too tight and can lead to prominent scarring. Let's go ahead and see what this pattern looks like. First, start as if you were going to do a simple interrupted suture pattern by going superficial to deep on the near side incision and deep to superficial on the far side incision, approximately one centimeter from the edge of the wound. Gather your suture through until you have a small tail. Remember, your surgical window is below the shoulders and above the belly button. We would not want to break sterility. Next, you will move a few centimeters down the incision. We are actually going to evert the needle and go superficial to deep and deep to superficial using your back hand. Pull the suture material through. And now we are going to perform a surgeon's knot. Remember your suture sandwich. This time we're going to do two knots and four throws. Make sure to grab the free tail edge to keep the integrity of your suture. A common mistake when tying the knot is pulling it towards you and not horizontally. This will cause slack in your knot. I happen to do three throws, but make sure you do a fourth one. Once you have completed your throws, go ahead and cut your tail and you will notice that this pattern makes a perfect square.